He's uh, the Chicago legend that is no. Where does he even live now? I think he's lived in Texas for some spurs. He's been traveling around everywhere. I think you'll see him uh, in gloom shot on like Monolith's stream, right? Yeah. They hang out a Probably. Fair Starting on Fountain. That's an interesting choice for Ganon Fox, right? Because you need to balance some things out, right? Like Ganon, maybe you just want him. You want Fox to run into your aerial. So like maybe that's where he wants like Yoshi's or something close. But you know, it's not really an easy battle for Ganon under any scenario. Oh, B moves. Sunrise Express, a known B mover. Yeah. He's a that up down B was a little questionable though. How much damage does it deal? Up B, a lot. I feel like, well, I mean, is it enough though to make that worth it? Oh. Gets caught with that wave. Uh, yeah. I like the I like the input viewer for uh Really? Alright. Can they hear you? Oh, 17 damage oh, okay. that up he did. Uh, we, we just got notified that uh, there will be another input viewer. Nice. Uh, looking at looking at the CEO bracket right now, there's uh, HTWA took a game off of Wizzy. It's a pretty good result. IBDW took, almost lost to HT and Playa. Oh, IBDW gets... lost to Yort. Yort's crazy. Is, he, is that a Falco? Yes. From... I, I want to say MDVA? Huh. Georgia. 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 Okay. So Ooh. he's almost... Georgia's like kind of slaying here. And then Wizrobe has to play Gatsu, which I'm pretty sure is bad. Anyways. Ooh, let's I actually, talk about the Ganon. Yeah, pretty on the crazy movement from Sunrise Express. Gets him that back air. Chicago's got the, f like, the fastest Ganons. Yeah. Ever. Like, Monolith, like... Monolith. If you count Monolith as Chicago, I agree. Well, like, he's Chicago land, right? Yeah, he, I guess so. I mean, isn't he, or is he actually... He's technically Indiana, I really? think. I mean, he's come to, like, Mystery Yeah, he, but he's, like, much closer to Chicago than any other scene, really. Yeah. Ooh, dare. Nothing, no follow-up. I feel like you feel like you can hit Ganon a lot more than you really can. Like, like, like you want to run yeah. in and just, like... Like, you want to challenge the fair, but you know it's bad. You know, he gets but, that actually like yeah. that a full hop stomp, and then it um it's it auto cancels. So then you can like do another jump. Yeah. I see no fluxes and monolith have been using that a lot recently. I, like w like when I play against Ganon, it's just like I'll like the I'll like run in like as a Marth just with like I'll just start fairing, and then I'll get hit by like one forward air. Oh, crazy up there! Like but it's a stock oh, trade. Oh come on, Curtis. That was not. I don't think that needed to happen. Been slapping. <laughs> I uh -oh. think he missed an L cancel there on the back air. Nice wave one. Oh, oh that platform yeah, this doesn't seem stopped like it at like the worst possible time. It's bad for Ganon in the same way it's bad for Falcon in some ways. Don't DI that in. Come on, Travis. Up air? Oh, good yeah. SDI. That definitely looked like uh, Kapapas was in that right position to get that up air that's hard to get, but let's see here. Ganon off stage. You have Shine to do something. Or just roll. Good call by Kapapas. Just, you know. Keeping it simple. Would this be Kapapa's an very passionate in the way he plays melee. What's that? Would this be an upset? I don't know. It looks like I said this is like a four seed versus a five seed. I just yeah. don't know which way it would be going. I feel like Sunrise Express might be seated higher. Yeah. Just because you know he's Chicago and he's a little more well known. He almost. He almost. Uh, he almost beat Boyd. Pretty sick. Oh, Battlefield. Definitely got, a stereotypically good Ganon stage. I like, I like the graphic design coming out here at, uh, at Hold That L3. Smash.gg slash Hold That L3. Look at the bracket. Oh, Ooh, I like that roll a lot. Ganon's roll is definitely like one of his better attributes, right? And we landed with that back air there. If it's like, you know, a Peach or even like a Falcon or somebody with a worse roll, you could just wave dash back if you're trying yeah. to punish the back air as Fox and like get a shine or something. I, I mean, I don't know much about Ganon, but I feel like Curtis can, he's trying to read. Um, oh, crazy Kapapas down beat. He's trying to read Kapapas' get up options a little bit too like early. I think he just, I think you can just sit back and wait, honestly. Like if he just sat back and down tilted the get up attack, he would have, he would have like gotten him, but instead he chose to uh, opt for an early uh -oh, bear. Up wow, air, this could that be was big. An interesting hitbox. Oh wow, nice, uh, nice movement here. You can see Side there. B, down air, forward air. 
Up air? Yep. Yes. And that's definitely gets that stock. trade that you will really see a want. Four stock. I believe. I believe it won't happen. Oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh he wanted it. He wanted no. it. No. No. Uh oh, big wave land off back air. Shields the side yeah, B. I feel like the further away you start side B, the like worse that's, it gets. Yeah, that's known to be like a hard thing. Big share. Up air, up air. Well, yep. uh, that works too. Okay. That is a lot of Three stock, frames. no JV, no four stock, you know. But like Ganon's back air has a lot more active frames than I thought. You can just back air and then just drift into somebody. There's a lot of good counter picks. You know, he'll probably ban FD. There's no way you want FD to stay, yeah. But Pokemon, early kills. Ganon doesn't really even kill vertically either, so it's not too bad. And it definitely restricts his movement without having the top platform. Oh, that was, uh, he's getting a little panicky. I don't really know how you can safely pressure Ganon's shield. Like without any risk of getting hit. Like I think he just needs to like he like keeps like doing shines of running away. I think you just kind of need to go for it. At yeah, point. I feel like you just want Ganon to like just be forced to extend in one way or yeah. the other. Like you know when he can't drift back on his fair or like he feels like the need to go all the way out or like up air or something. It's a really big commitment. I think comparatively. Oh, yeah, yeah that's definitely one of Ganon's like. Oh, he had a thing. Yeah. Look at look at the floor on Pokemon State. Isn't it usually like a little textured? I feel like it's usually not just solid. It's kind of, it's probably just slippy. Yeah, yeah, it's maybe slippy. <laughs> the laser camping is coming out, and right, yeah. like as Ganon, that's what's so critical critical about this match is that you have to wave land down, and you have to make some commitment towards the other side of the stage if you want to use that other platform and set up stuff. Well, the thing is, though, like, I, I mean, at least for me, because I have a terrible mentality, it's like, if I'm if I'm a fox and I'm laser camping Ganon, and I get, like, let's say, like, 20% from lasers, right? And then he runs in and fares me, and I take, like, 25, and then, and then die. It's, like, really demoralizing, I feel like. Like, I feel like oh, the, the more you camp against Ganon, it's just, like, it kind of, I don't know. Uh-oh. It feels bad. Fox can do a lot of damage there, but, you know, just some shines. I think I think you get more rewarded from just trying to get him off the stage because oh, laser no jump. is getting damaged, but yeah. the ideal scenario is get shining him off stage, right? Oh, no impact there land, but was, the patience. Yeah, he definitely has done that before, and the Papas has been adapting. There. Oh, and he gets the start up. Yeah. Oh my God, oh. that should not have worked. <laughs> Kafapa's yeah, yeah, definitely yeah, yeah, giving us gets, the clamp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what I think. This is the dynamic of the set. Of the, oh, wow, that's twice now that he just barely missed that. Wow. Right, Sunrise Express, you know if there's like a situation where he's like, he's brought it all the way back and Kapapas is recovering. He's going to go for some style now. He set the precedent. But I like this. You know, there's no reason to approach. That up there was really, really smart. Oh, forward smash. Okay. Up tilt. I really like the way Kapapas is playing right now. Yeah, I like that, right? The choice not to pursue there, right? It's like you don't need to give Ganon any opportunities to get you a hit, right? He was definitely dictating the pace. Oh. Got ourselves the last Giving time. us the look. We have... We actually have a bit of a crowd here. Yeah. This is definitely as good of a set as you can really expect. Uh-oh. Is he going to go for an attack? Read the jump. I what would you, be shaking oh if this were why, me. Why is, yeah, uh oh, up smash. I guess that's safer than it looks, but. Oh. And Kapapas takes what it. What a big clutch. <laughs> Let's go, Mark. <laughs> Man. Pretty good set. That's as close as you can get, really. I think those up smashes might have been uh, a little telling. Curtis getting antsy. Yeah, I feel like when Ganon's stuck there, I, right? Like, like, you have to pick your spot somewhere. You can't really cover yeah. everything like you want to if you're, like, you're a Marth or something. It's just not really a threatening position to be inside the tree. Yeah. Like, Ganon doesn't have, like, a peach down smash or, like, an infinite or anything, really, that's, like... You just gotta, like, throw out some stuff and hope that you, like, scare them away, honestly. I guess the up smashes were more defensive. We got yeah. eye water on 